Mayor, tell me when you give me the thumbs up when you're ready. Good to go. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm just going to walk you through a typical scenario. This may have some similarities to um, real life events, but um, this, the disclosure statement says that uh, there should be no So we have our typical patient there in the red shirt. Is, uh, it's, it's a Sunday evening, and he's uh, just finished watching the football game, and he's having his dinner, and um, he starts to get some pain in the chest. Um, so he uh, takes a few tongues and uh, walks around a bit and says, walk it off. It's probably just a pulled muscle. Maybe he just has some heartburn. And, um, you know, 20 minutes half an hour later, he's not feeling better and starting to sweat, and the nurse thinks that his wife <laughs> his wife is not a nurse, uh, thinks he looks a little, little ashen and gray, so she convinces him to be taken to an emergency room, so they drive to Lake and Charles, <laughs> their closest emergency room. And this now is, when? What time is it? Zero minutes. So this is time zero. Okay, when they hit the emergency room, or when they get first medical contact, so if they had been at home, and today they would know better, they would just call 911 and have someone come to their home rather than driving in. So they drove in, and that's time zero. So the nurse is now evaluating the, the, the patient, evaluating the pain, doing a 12 lead ECG, and what does she see on the 12 lead ECG? Okay, hold it right up there, so everyone can see. Now I'm sure you all know what this is, but uh, those, um, those little mountains there shouldn't be there. Just hold it up again. That's what it should look like. On the left, the mirror's holding what it should look like. Those spikes are normal, but the mountains afterwards are not. So those big peaks after that spike is called an ST elevation. Elevation meaning that the, the cardiogram has changed. And that's, that's the short form for STEMI. So when you see ST elevation, that's a diagnosis of a heart attack. So immediately the nurse knows this is a heart attack. So she picks up the phone and she calls 1628 STEMI. And that then rings an RCCU, and RCCU nurse picks up that red phone that's designated for that and a piece of delivery. So now 10 minutes have gone by when she's picked up the phone. Go ahead, Kathy. What happens here? I ask all those pertinent questions.
Yeah, so it's actually, it should be 30 minutes of driving, 10 minutes over there, 10 minutes to, to make the diagnosis. So that's that's uh, already 50 minutes. Now this man comes into the cath lab, and the team is ready and waiting. And in the next 20 minutes, they prepare him, drape him, sterilize the appropriate areas. <laughs> They get the equipment ready, they form an angiogram immediately, they find the blocked artery, and they send the balloon down that artery and they open it. Now what time is it? 30 minutes. 30 minutes. So now after after 50 minutes, we have another 30 minutes, that's 80 minutes, and the artery is open, the heart attack is stopped, and that's the end. Our job is to try to get this already open within 90 minutes of that patient presented to any hospital or to any medical person anywhere in the region from here, all the way up to Bolingville, all the way up to Victoria Park. Let's get everybody hands up.